but we begin today with clarity on the rather sketchy news that overshadowed last night's NBA draft, that Klay Thompson had to be helped off a court in Los Angeles when he hurt his lower right leg in a pickup game. The Warriors found out today that Thompson has torn his Achilles. He will be out all season. Thompson missed all of last season after tearing the ACL in his left knee. Will Von Howell Thompson's injury shake up the Warriors and the Western Conference? Well, Tony, obviously, it, it reduces the Warriors. I mean, no team, not just no team now, no team in history can lose, you know, sort of, it's, it's second best player. I'm going to call Klay Thompson that a player of renown, one of the great shooters of all time, and a player beloved in his locker room. All right? You can't lose that guy and be the same and be whole and be seriously a contender for a championship. It just it's depressing to me. It reduces the league. It reduces the sport. I mean, one of the things I was looking most forward to yesterday had nothing to do with the draft. It just had to do with Golden State being able to rise again and Klay Thompson being at the center of that. And to get that news, yeah. Tony, just before the draft, I... I it just, it's sad to me. And, you know, um, I spent a lot of time around that team in the last five years, sometime with, with Clay Thompson, who I just absolutely like a lot. And um, it's bad for basketball. It's bad for business all of the way around. He is a great scorer and a scorer who scores in bunches. And there's a difference there. Clay Thompson, as we know, can get 30 points in a quarter. Not a, not a lot of great scorers can do that, and he can. But he is aided tremendously. It is such a godsend that he plays next to Steph Curry because Steph Curry is also a great scorer. Now, without him, you don't have the Splash Brothers. You got the Splash Brother. And they already lost Kevin Durant to free agency last year. So they are diminished here, I think, enormously. But this is the inherent risk in sports, Mike. You, you sign a contract and you make a compact that if you get hurt, you get hurt. We see people get Tommy John surgery. They're out for the whole year. Mike Clevenger just signed a new deal, and he's going to have Tommy John surgery. John Wall in Washington missed all the last year and a, a lot of the year before that. In football all the time, Mike, you know, you, you see the phrase season-ending injury. We see this all the time. It's too bad that it's two in a row for him, but athletes understand this, right? They understand it. You know, Tony, they do, and it is a deal they make very early in their lives. And we've seen injuries come earlier and just end careers. Clay Thompson's got three championships, right? And had a real yeah. crack at yeah. it five times and may get another one or so. I, look, I, yeah. this is local for me. I think about Derrick Rose, who got hurt at, like, 22 and, and, and has come back to be a fine player, but not the guy, not the MVP he was before the knee injury. And, of course, Klay Thompson, now the Achilles, it was the knee. And, yeah, we can go through, Tony, every sports history and come up with these situations. And it's just, I, you know, I hope the best for Klay. I really do. Um, but And the Warriors, I don't know what to make of this. I don't. Achilles are tough. Just too People come yeah. back, but they come Let's back hope. less than when they left. And this yeah. opens the door. This keeps yeah. the Lakers in play. This puts the Mavericks, this puts a lot of teams in play. A lot play. of teams in it play. Does. That's right, Tony, it does. Yep. It was just two days ago that the Bucks seemed to have it all figured out. They traded for Drew Holiday and Bogdan Bogdanovich to put together one of the league's best-looking starting fives, a team that could potentially keep Giannis from leaving. But now the Bogdanovich trade is kaput, and he will enter restricted free agency. Tone, if this thing doesn't get patched up, how big a loss would Bogdanovich be for the Bucks? Not nearly as big a loss as Giannis would be if he looks around and he says, <laughs> I'm out of here now. I mean, I don't yeah. know how you make this deal and you don't go to Bogdanovich and say, this is the deal. Are you on board with the deal? That it is totally buttoned up. We heard about this trade a couple of days ago. There was no reporting on this end that it might blow up. And, and, and now you look around and you say, who's running Milwaukee? I mean, if I'm Giannis, I, I say, what? My front office allowed this to happen. What? We can't have it. So I'm going to say this irrevocably. Milwaukee has to get this guy. If they don't get this guy, they're done. They look stupid. Their credibility in the front office is 100% at stake with this. Man, Tony, you went out there on this one. I'm going to say if they... I think the result, the bottom line result doesn't come 
right now, though I essentially agree with you. The question is, as you look around in a weak free agent period, and the period, by the way, is going to last about two weeks until everybody's signed. In, in a weak period, you can't just go out there and replace a guy who can give you 16 a game and, 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 and efficiently smaller bunches, not Clay Thompson, but kind of a junior version. This guy can get you scoring, and Milwaukee needs everything he's got to, to make themselves a contender in support of Giannis, and then, as we refer all the time, to make Giannis happy and keep Giannis. And That's so right. I don't understand right. it either. Like, how does this get out there? Because it sounds like, from, from the reporting we've heard, like, Bogdanovich and Giannis are like, yeah, cool, good, sign off, thumbs up, let's go. Oh, wait, this wasn't done in a way. Now, the question, Tony, is how many teams do you think tried to rat out, you know, Bogdanovich and the Kings so that it seems like, seems like tampering on some level, and therefore that might have derailed this. How many teams do you think would have stood in the way of that? So I'm going to say this, and I know you like to rip I-95 and you like to rip big cities, and you like to say it's great in small cities, and it is great in small cities. But if I'm the agent of Giannis, I'm saying we're out of here if this happens. Now, maybe it's just a charade, Mike. Maybe the money's going to be ironed out, and maybe Bogdanovich will show up there, and he will really help the team and help Giannis. But the way it looks now, it Doesn't looks look good. very bad because everybody look said, good. whoa, this is the thing that will keep him. So, yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.